The OMV here on Vets has been closed for about an hour now, but there are still people waiting inside to be helped. It took hours to renew driver's licenses, change car titles, or get a new license today. The person in charge of the OMV state agency told me that's because only six analysts showed up for work at this location today. It's standing room only at the Office of Motor Vehicles in Lakeview. And I've been here for about two and a half hours now, and I still got another 15 numbers to go. Those numbers adding up quickly because WDSU confirmed that a third of the workers on Thursday's schedule are not here. Well, Bobby Bird was at this OMV on Wednesday too and noticed the difference right away. But what's odd is that if I saw that yesterday, it was like lots of lines open. Then why can't they do that today when they got this many people? The OMV commissioner, Karen St. Germain, telling WDSU five OMV employees called out unexpectedly. That's on top of two other people approved or out on leave. And being short staffed means long waits for customers. We've been here at least two hours. They have people been in there for over four hours and it's ridiculous in there. Out of 25 seats, I can say that they only have at least nine boots available and it, the number is not going nowhere. One issue employees have been complaining about, according to the OMV commissioner, is overtime. OMV workers have to stay late, but she said there have been complaints because employees are not paid overtime. Instead, St. Germain said workers accrue time off or comp time. WDSU confirmed with the Division of Administration that this is a common payroll policy across several state agencies, but people say it's costing them too much. I know people have other things to do, families, jobs, children, you know, I know they don't want to sit in here for hours either. The commissioner did tell me that she is not aware of any planned strike at this location. She also said six workers from other branches were brought in today to fill the gaps here in Lakeview. Reporting in New Orleans, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.